What's going on? It's your girl, Miss Tony Yolanda. Thank you for pressing play, taking time out your day. This video is a little bit different. It is from my podcast, Soul Search, The Words That Speak, the very first episode of that podcast called Her Story. Yes, it relates to me, and I want to share with you guys as much as possible when it comes to my journey and my growth. I'll leave the link below to my podcast where you can tap into all the other episodes that I've slowly been growing on that end. Uh, without further ado, let's go, and I'll see you. In the beginning, there's a woman in her late teens. The spiritual connection she never overstood started here. She was clueless about what was happening and why it was happening. All she knew how to connect was the concept of life, the basics, do good, love, and try to achieve her highest potential. She always questioned how anyone could navigate his or her life with no scope of the internal atmosphere. The biology makeup. The vibrational energy levels, quantum physics as they say, the emotions and the whole mix and pot of the Most High's creation, what is happening within on a deeper vibe. You see, people tend to seek and pray on the external soul connections, but lack the soul connect with themselves. Searching for love in all the wrong places, hoping for someone or something to come and feed them with love and affection. But with little knowledge, those that were being sought out had their own insecurities and self-doubts, hoping to connect with others and constantly dream of that soulmate. She had high hopes of living debt-free, happy, independent, and she even went on thinking of retirement at 25. The point of working for other people or big corporations, being on a clock was not the vision she had for herself. She was not interested in being just an employee. She wanted more. She started a fashion clothing line, producing and making all the right connects to get it to where it needed to be. Insight on store shelves and built an online store expanding the merchandise to watches, hats, and some fashion jewelry. She was getting somewhere, or at least she thought she was, and she was excited. When you have big dreams, hopes, and desires, and you feel that you're doing everything you can to get what you want, and it doesn't happen, how does one handle the disappointment? Let's just say those big perceptions and goals she had for herself did not come to pass. This was one of many focal points that she took in deeply. It was all the pain, the internal destruction that was bubbling and bursting out through her exterior demeanor, the verbal lashes towards others and the self-sabotaging replay messages she would tell her conscious being day in and day out that she wasn't good enough and that she couldn't do what she wanted to. She was on the edge but the desire was always there. The burning desire to be free and to live her life the way it was meant to be. Her breaking point of self-destruction was knocking her soul. <laughs> 